Okay, now let's look at the actual hardware. This is the hydrophone. All this is is a uh, microphone, like the type you can get at Radio Shack. It's housed in a film canister, and I also filled the film canister with vegetable oil, which I use as a medium for the sound to travel through. Right now it's just a single hydrophone. I'd eventually like to get uh, it to at least three hydrophones and possibly up to five. Um, that will help me increase my gain for uh, listening. It's attached to a weight, uh, otherwise this uh, hydrophone will float at the surface. And there's about six feet of cabling here. Uh, it would have been nice to cut the cabling a little bit longer, uh, but this works for what I need it for. The microphone I use requires a battery source, so that's what this is for. And then I use a guitar amp currently to listen to the sound produced by the hydrophone. I'd eventually like to do this using the software I wrote, but right now I still need it. And then I'm also connected to my tablet, which is running the MATLAB software. This is what it looks like right now. This is what I'd like to build the program to. Uh, I have a plot for time information, a plot for frequency information, and another plot for Kepstrom information. It'll be a broadband display. This I don't know if I'll ever be able to implement. This will uh, require quite a bit more hardware and software. Probably require like a USB interface or something, which I don't know anything about. Uh, so I don't know if I'll ever be able to do this, but kind of an idea I have. And then I'll have two displays for the beam, or to show you what the beam looks like. One is a boresight beam, just what it looks like if you have it uh, directed straight out. Uh, this will take into account the number of array elements you have. And then there will be another uh, plot showing you what the beam looks like if you're steering it off boresight. Uh, in this case, this would be used if I ever had the broadband uh, display capability, so I could see what the beam looks like as I steer it uh, around. Then there will be a couple of user options. Uh, you can set your sample frequency, your integration interval, uh, the number of elements in the array, and the water temperature, and you'll also be able to uh, save and load uh, previous files. Have an option to turn your audio on and off, and then there's some uh, recording and playback features I'd like to have so I can uh, play old data, and this is just the start-stop button uh, to run the program. Okay, now I'd like to demonstrate the software I wrote. Let me uh, hook up the battery for the hydrophone and turn on the guitar amp. We might get some feedback due to how close the hydrophone is to the guitar amp, uh, but we should be okay. I'll just keep the volume low. Okay, now let me uh, start the program. So right here, all I want to really show you is the response you get. Uh, I'm just going to be tapping the, the hydrophone. So you can see the time, frequency, and Kepstrom data jumping around. And let me turn up the volume a little bit more so you can actually hear it coming from the microphone. Okay, and then I uh, also like to show you a uh, frequency sweep where I just run through the different uh, frequencies within the audible spectrum for humans um, just so you can see what that uh, looks like with the display.